Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. It's me Mirza Naim. In this video, we are going to learn about shear force and bending moment diagram for overhanging beam. So without any further delay, let's jump into the problem. So shear force and bending moment, bending moment diagram for overhanging beam so today we are going to learn about shear force and bending moment diagram how the diagram is looks like for overhanging beam so in the previous video we already learned about shear force and bending moment diagram for simply supported beam can deliver beam with different loading that is point load uniformly distributed load and uniformly varying load in this video we are going to learn about shear force bending moment diagram for overhanging beam so what is the overhanging beam at the end portion of the beam is extended beyond the support let's say this is my support let's say this is my simply supported beam so if i extend this end supports it will become overhanging beam so in overhanging beam we have two cases so one is single overhanging beam right so another one is yes your guess is right that is double overhanging beam so what it mean so single overhanging beam is nothing but the beam which extend the support on one side that means I have to erase this then it will become a single overhanging beam because it is extended on one side isn't it now if I define double overhanging beam it is a beam which extend beyond the supports on both sides so from left side from right side the beam is extended it is overly hanged that is why we call it as overhanging beam right so now we'll see a problem before going to problem we'll see a small topic which is important for your two marks in the examination that is point of point of Contraflexure. What is point of contraflexure? So we are going to see practically in the problems. Before that, I will try to define this. It is a point where the bending moment, bending moment is zero. It is a point where the bending moment is zero after changing the sign after changing the sign that means from positive to negative so it is a point where the bending moment will zero after changing the sign that means from positive to negative or negative to positive when it is going to change that particular point is called point of contraflexion okay so we'll see this in the problem once again i will repeat this it is defined as the point of it is a point where the bending moment is zero after changing its sign from positive to negative from positive to negative it will change and the bending moment will be zero so we'll see a problem we'll take a problem then we can understand what is mean by point of contraflexion draw the shear force shear force diagram and bending moment diagram for for the overhanging beam overhanging overhanging beam carries or carrying uniformly distributed load of 
टू किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर सो ए ओवर हैंग बीम इज कैरिंग यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड ऑफ टू किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर ओवर द एंटायर ओवर द एंटायर स्पैन और यू कैन कॉल इट एज एंटायर लेंथ ओके एंड ऑल्सो सो इट इज इंटरेस्टिंग पार्ट इज अ न्यू थिंग ऑल्सो पॉइंट ऑल्सो फाइंड आउट और लोकेट द पॉइंट ऑफ पॉइंट ऑफ कॉन्ट्रोफ्लेक्शन ओके पॉइंट ऑफ कॉन्ट्रोफ्लेक्शन फाइन सो नाउ लेट सी द डायग्राम सो दैट वॉट एवर द गिवेन इन द क्वेश्चन वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड सो हियर इज अ बीम फाइन सो देर इज अ सपोर्ट हियर एंड अने द सपोर्ट हियर एंड देर इज नो सपोर्ट एट सी लेट से दिस इज ए बी एंड सी सो वॉट काइंड ऑफ ओवर हैंगिंग बीम इज दिस इन दिस केस it is single overhanging beam because it is extended on only one side right so it is carrying what kind of load uniformly distributed load so i will try to draw uniformly distributed load here with how much force or load it is acting it is acting with 2 kilo newton per unit length that is per meter so total length is given the question uh, the figure will give in the exam no need to worry that is 4 meters from here to here and it is 2 meters so we need to find ra that is a reaction support reaction at a and support reaction at b okay so we need to find support reaction first so let's find out step number 1 that is calculation of support reaction support reaction calculation of support reaction so let's say summation of vertical force is equal to 0 or else you can write summation of f of x equal to 0 so r a plus r b that is two vertical forces which are acting upward direction so i take positive ra and positive rb minus the uniformly distributed load is acting downwards okay opposite to this two forces so we take minus 2 kN into acting upon entire span what is entire span 4 meters plus 2 meters that is 6 meters equals to 0 right all the vertical forces equals to 0 now i can write ra plus rb equals to 2 into 6 from this i can write ra plus rb equals to 2 into 6 that is 12 kN we call it as equation 1 right clear it is equation 1 so now we'll try to find out rb by taking moment at a we need to find out rb by taking moment at a so here i am taking moment so taking moment at a okay that is summation of ma equals to 0 so from equilibrium equation i can write summation of ma equals to 0 from here i can write so here we can write r b into 4 so here so here is a section for suppose r b into 4 because it is positive because it is making the beam to sag right it is going to sag that means it will create a smile kind of symbol that is positive so this load will make this beam to sag that's why we take positive 
So, R B into 4 minus 2 into 6, 2 into 6 that is acting upon entire span into the maximum load for uniformly distributed load will act at the middle. So, middle of the span will be 6 divided by 2 and that is equals to 0 should be equals to 0 then we can write from here 4 R B equals to 2 into 6 into 6 by 2 right. So, from that we can write we can write 4 R B equals to 2 into 6 into 6 by 2 then R B equals to that is 6 by 4 then that is equals to 9 kilo Newton. So, let us say this is equation number 2. So, I got R B that is 9 kilo Newton. So, I am going to put this value in equation number 1 which is R A plus R B equals to 12 kilo Newtons right. So, in equation R B equals to 9 kilo Newton substitute this value in equation 1 that is R A plus R B equals to 12 kilo Newton. So, we know R B that is 9 kilo Newton. So, 9 here equals to 12 kilo Newton. From here we can find R A that is R A equals to 12 minus 9. So, that will become R A equals to 3 kilo Newton. So, we got the reaction supports that is R A and R B. So, the second step is to find out shear force. So, let us find out shear force. Let us find out shear force. So, shear force that is denoted by F shear force at A shear force at A. So, here is our section. So, we know for sign convention that is if it is going up on your left it will positive and if you go down the load is going down towards your right that will be negative. So, this is a sign convention for shear force clear. So, this is our section. So, wherever you take the section take the reference. So, in all our problems we are taking section and we are taking the value of the load on my left. So, that means whichever the load going up we take positive whichever going down we take negative. So, this is the section now that is at A the shear force at A will be equals to R A and that is F A equals to 3 kilo Newton fine. Now, shear force shear force at B. We will find out shear force at B. Before going that we have shear force at B we have two kinds of uh, values that is on my left of the B and right of the B. So, I am taking a B1 and B2. So, B1 will be the right hand side B2 will be the left hand side. So, shear force at B1 ok shear force at B 1 that is I will write here left hand side. So, whatever the loads forces acting on my left I have to consider. It. So, here from this I can write F B 1 equals to here the 3 that is positive 
minus the uniformly distributed load that is 2 into acting upon till B it is 4 meters. So, do not get confused, you should not take the entire span, you should take the length between A and B that is 4 meters, that is 4. Okay. So, from here I can get R B 1 uh, F B 1 that is minus 5 kilo Newton minus 5 kilo Newton. So, now I, I got F B 1 equals to minus 5 kilo Newton. So, make a nice bracket. Okay, now we will find out shear force at B 2 shear force at B 2 that is our right hand side. Okay. Shear force at B2 that is right hand side. So, here is our section we have to consider all the forces on my right. So, what is the force on my right? So, we will have this B1. So, that is FB1 B, uh, FB2 equals to shear force at B2. So, we have to consider this B1 plus Rb. So, here we have a support reaction which is positive going upward direction we take Rb. So, we know Rb value that is minus 5 plus Rb value is 9. So, from here we get 4 kilo Newton right 4 kilo Newton fine. So, now we have to find shear force at C. Shear force, shear force at C. So, that is F C equals to. So, we need to consider all the forces on my left, right. So, in our case, we have R A, R B, and the B1, B2 value. So, put that value first R A that is positive going upward direction. So, on my left, so I take positive that is R A minus there is another load uniformly distributed load acting on it. So, that will be minus 2 into it is acting on entire span that is 2 into 6 plus R B is also positive. So, R B plus R B. So, we know that we are uh, reaction at A we got 3 minus 2 into 6 plus R B value is 9. So, from here F C that is shear force at C is 0 kilo Newton. Fine. So, what else is left? We need to find out the shear force at the maximum uh, bending moment that is D. Okay. Shear force at D. So, we do not know the distance. First, we will try to find out the distance simple we can do shear force shear force at d that is fd equals to somewhere here so how you how you can find out the distance just you put the value ra which is going upward direction positive minus 2 kilo newton into we know the direct uh, distance that is x right so from here i can write R, ra is 3 minus 2 x right to x. To x. This I can write 2 x equals to 3 and x equals to 3 by 2. From here x equals to 1.5 meters. x equals to 1.5 meters. Fine. So, now this distance from here will be 1.5 meters somewhere here that is point D that is 1.5 meters. Okay. So, now we will find out bending moment. So, bending moment denoted by M. So, first we need to find out bending moment. So, I will draw again. So, this is 2 kilo Newton per meter and the distance from here to here it is 4 and here to here it is 2 meters. 
2 meters right so if this value is that is r b value is 9 r a value is 3 kilo newton so we got the values now so we'll find out bending moment fine so first i will find out bending moment at a so here i will have to take all the forces from right to left that will be r b into r b which is positive which is going upward direction that is making the beam sagging so we take positive r b into the distance perpendicular distance is 4 meters minus 2 into 6 into 6 by 2 so 2 is a uniformly distributed load and it is acting it is making the beam into hogging moment so that's why we take negative into the maximum bending moment will be in the middle of this beam so we take 6 by 2 so from here we know that rb is 9 into 4 minus 36 so that will be 36 minus 36 ma equals to 0 so what is the units kilo newton per meter no kilo newton meter right now bending moment bending moment at b bending moment at b so mb equals to so here so what all the forces just considered here you have m r a into 4 minus 2 into 4 into 4 by 2 so here i am taking this force and this will make the beam to move upward direction so it will make the beam upward direction it will make the beam a sagging kind of moment like this we take positive if the load makes the beam downward direction like this we take negative okay so 2 into 4 that is perpendicular distance is 4 and the maximum bending moment at the middle of this span length 4 will be 4 by 2 so from here we know ra is 3 into 4 minus 16 and 12 minus 16 that will give rise to minus 4 kilo newton meter so rb mb that is moment at b we got 4 minus 4 kilo newton meter so we will find out here uh, bending moment at c bending moment at c bending moment at c okay bending moment at c fine so mc equals to here so what all the forces here from starting from ra that is ra which is positive minus the uniformly distributed load is there so ra multiplied by the perpendicular distance is 6 minus 2 into 2 kilo newton into the perpendicular distance is 6 into the maximum in the middle of this span that is 6 by 2 plus rb into 2 because 2 is a distance from b to c so it's a b it's a so we know ra is 3 into 6 minus 36 right plus 9 into 2 it will give rise to 18 minus 36 plus 18 that will be 36 minus 36 it is 0 so moment at c will be 0 because it is Ho, like overhanging beam there is no moment there is a free moment and the total resultant moment will act at b and a so that's why in the case of cantilever beam we take this as a 
0 and here in overhanging beam the value of bending moment at C is also 0 is here somewhere here D that is we got the distance that is 1.5 meters 1.5 meters. So, bending moment at D so M D equals to R A into 1.5 minus 2 into minus 2 into 1.5 and into the maximum will be in between that 1.5 by 2 equals to 3 into 1.5 minus 2.25 that will give rise to 4.5 minus 2.25 that will give rise to 2.25 kilonewton meter. So, moment at D, moment at D we got 2.25 meters. We will find out point of point of counter flexure so there is another maximum bending moment at e so that by taking moment at e we can find point of counter flexure taking moment about e so we know that that is equilibrium equation the summation of moment at E equals to 0 that will load will be minus 2 into the we do not know the distance we take it as y and the maximum bending moment at middle of this span that is y by 2. So, plus R b R b into the distance we do not know that is y minus the remaining 2 we have to detect that is minus 2 right from here I can get minus 2 and y square by 2 the 2 to get cancel plus 9 we know r b equals to 9 into y minus 2. So, from here I can write minus y square plus 9 y minus 18 ok. So, multiplying y yeah, uh, 9 into 9 with both so get 9y minus 18. So, this looks like a, a b and c a square plus b y minus c. So, we know the formula for that that is minus b plus or minus under root b square minus 4 a c by 2a ok. So, if you put the values here minus 9 plus or minus under root 9 square minus 4 a what is a 3 and the c value will be 4 into 1 into 18. So, here a will be 1 b will be 9 and c will be 18 ok divided by 2 into a that is 2 into a is 1. So, from here I can get 9 plus or minus 3 divided by 2. So, I get 3 meters. So, the distance of y is at 3 meters that means at 3 meters. So, double the this one that is 3 meters there will be a change in movement change in the sign and the, the shear bending moment will go from positive to negative. First we need to draw a free body diagram. So, it is acting uniformly distributed load there is a load here another load will be here the distance of this will be 4 meters 2 meters the load will be 2 kilo Newton per meter and the distance of this this will be point B point A and C and there is point D somewhere here we got that at the distance of 1.5 meters and point E is at somewhere here that is distance of 1.5 not 3 meters. So, distance of this will be 3 meters 
at point E. Clear? Extend these lines to draw shear force and bending moment diagram. Draw the baseline first. So we got the shear force at A that is 3 meters, raise this up. Then for we know that for uniformly distributed load, it is go linear. Okay, it will not go straight as a, rec as a rectangle, it will go linear. So from here it will change at point D point D and then it will go till B right so this will be positive then it will be negative because we got negative because we got shear force at B will be minus 5 kilonewton so this is minus 5 kilonewton then uh, we got uh, B1 and B2 so B2 will be 4 that means from baseline from 0 0 it will have to raise till 4 and it is 0 at C and it will join the baseline that is at C right let us say A, D, B and C. So this will be 4 kilo Newton. Um, uh, I will repeat it again this is B1 and this is B2. So B1 we got minus 5 and B2 we got 4 that is why it is changing the sign because from 0 to it is going into positive right shade this part okay so this will be positive so this will be positive right and what is the distance of this that is 3 kilo newton height so this is your shear force now the draw the baseline for bending moment diagram so this is a baseline which is 0 0 and bending moment at a we got 0 and bending moment at a is 0 bending moment at c is also 0 so it will raise at point d right at point d that is 2.25 kilo newton meter 2.25 kilo newton meter that means it has to raise till here that is 2.25 kilo newton meter so it will raise like this and at point e at point e there is a change in sign okay points there is a change in sign if we go down at point E from here it will go to B that is minus 4 so this will be minus 4 minus 4 okay from here it will go back to 0 because at C it is 0 so distance between uh, from B to E that is 1 meter that is 1 meter right so this point is your point of contraflexure because it is changing the sign and it is going down to the negative this is point E D A B and C so this will be your distance from B E B is 1 meter so we know the distance of uh, A to D that is 1.5 meters and this is 3 meters and the total length from here to here is 4 meters so 4 3 if you minus this you have 1 meter that is from distance from E to B right so this is how you can uh, draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for overhanging beam with uniformly distributed load carrying uniformly distributed load and we also learn about what is pointer of counterflexure that means there is a change when bending moment will be zero here it is zero and changing its sign from positive to negative okay here the point is in zero it is coming from positive and it will become negative at 4 kilonewton and it is 2.5 kilonewton right 
so that's it for today's class hope you learned a lot of things in this class uh, if you are new to my channel please subscribe and see the playlist of shear force and bending moment diagram and total entire strength of material course so till then take care bye bye it's your mirza naeem signing off mm -hmm.